Count yourself lucky I didn't throw a pepper at you. <laughs> Finally, we welcome again an American actor who came here a couple of years ago to star in a highly successful television cop series that succeeded back in his country as well. It's called Dempsey and Makepeace. She's Makepeace, and when he's not Dempsey, he masquerades as Michael Brandon. <laughs> Look, I understand you've been... Excuse all this. It's just the Caribbean flavor of the whole thing. It's, a, oh, it's nice. It's terribly gay here, isn't it? Yeah, well, I used to live in that neighborhood, and I danced around in there last, uh, last year. Notting Hill? Yeah. Yeah. It was a bit drier than it was this week. It was weekend. much drier. Yeah. Anyway, I understand you've been almost mortally injured since we saw you last. How is your pinky? Well, it's, uh, the whole hand works pretty good, actually. It's, it's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> No, they told me I didn't need surgery and uh, leave it alone. It'll probably come back the feeling I'd cut it. And... How come a manly guy like you knocking people about on the television runs off crying to the doctor when he hurts his little finger? <laughs> come on. Does, does Makepeace know about this sissy way you're going on? I went back to see these surgeons to see if I get the feeling back in my hand. And I'll tell you something, I couldn't wait to get back. Back here? Back here. So back to the rain. Yeah, back to home. But I tell you, I really enjoyed the rain actually this time. It was just so good to get back. Yeah. So. <laughs> Americans are not like us, are they? <laughs> so, uh, tell us if you will. Your name has been associated with many a glamorous lady in your time, no doubt. With the latest of whom is is the lovely makepeace Glynis Barber. Well, what's the longest relationship you've ever had? He has to think about it. Actually, uh, I would say, probably with my camera. <laughs> you gotta be fancy about this, you know? <laughs> I bought it in 1969, uh, right uh, with my first paycheck, my first film, and uh, started taking pictures uh, because, uh, well, when you start out as an actor, you need pictures. That's what you need. You have to bring in your eight by tens. And uh, when you're broke, you have to put all your money out to these photographers. And I decided I could help out a lot of my friends by shooting pictures. And that's how this whole thing started. Yeah, we, you've got an exhibition coming up. Let's have, let's have a look at some of, your, some of Michael Brandon's oeuvre. Now, that's pretty good. This is a snow scene. I'm no fool. Yeah. Well, <laughs> either right that or there's it. a man doing something funny in the clouds. Yeah. Where'd you take that? That's somewhere on the top of the uh, Swiss Alps. And uh, it was a beautiful day. I mean, I was, I was learning how to ski, actually, when I, when I took that one. And uh, this guy made me climb up a cliff. And uh, <clears throat> actually, the best picture was probably the other side, but I couldn't look at it. It was all the way down. Yeah. But uh, you a nervous skier? Not anymore. Now, now it's, you know, you can only fall a foot at a time. <laughs> <laughs> So let's have a look at another one. This, this one is, is a most unusual picture, this. What is it? It looks like a monster from Doctor Who. Ah. Well, that is a, an old uh, rusted pickup truck on the island of Hawaii. There's a storm coming in over the mountains while the sun is setting on the other side of the island, which is reflected in the rear window of the truck. Very, very good, very artistic. Yeah. They were uh, nice prints, actually. Yeah. Uh, Super Chrome made up all these things. They donated them for, for the exhibition. Well, where can people see the exhibition? Well, see, that's the thing. They can't. Originally, very this... good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> good yeah. This was supposed to be an exhibition. It's for, it's for charity, for the Prince's Trust. And uh, I wanted to open the whole thing to everybody. For, and this gallery was going to do that for about three weeks. And they folded. And we were left without anywhere to go. And all the other galleries were booked up at the time. So the St. James Club has offered to give us uh, this room for three days. But they could, couldn't possibly handle everyone. Mm -hmm. So what we've done uh, with that picture of the... Uh, of the truck in Hawaii is uh, we've made up posters of them that I will sign. And anybody who wants to help me help the Prince's Trust, uh, if you send in a minimum donation of 10 quid, uh, it'll do a lot of good for a lot of kids. So that's what we're doing. That's why that's I'm putting idea. this together. Good idea. Good idea. Apart from the charitable aspect, though, I mean, uh, you were probably taking photographs for fun, really. Why, why decide to go, to go public? Do you, you want to be a photographer now? 
Well, uh, in a sense, yeah, but behind the camera of a moving camera, I want to direct pictures. You've directed the last episode of um, the last series of Dempsey and Makepeace, which you haven't seen yet. I mean, how about directing yourself? I mean, it's the ultimate ego trip, isn't it? Well, um, I work very good with myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can believe that, yeah. You know, I said, you know, I, if you really jump up right after that, I go, that's a great idea. I yeah. say, okay, I'll do that, you know. I'm, I really take good direction. Yeah. How do the other actors take to, to one of their fellow thespians directing them, though? Well, I think that actors actually, in uh, the long run, make the best directors because mm -hmm. they understand the process of the actor. And we had a really good cast uh, for the last Kate O'Mara, Richard Johnson, Don Henderson. I mean, it was a brilliant cast that came together. And uh, the whole crew lifted to it also because it was the last show and it was a family affair. There wasn't any strange person coming in. We did it all together and uh, we couldn't have gone out. Anymore. Everything goes smoothly? Well, you know, you have your problems. Basically, the, the finale of this uh, episode is this big stunt with the car rocketing into the air and the whole thing. And, you wait hours for all these guys to set up, you know, this launcher and uh, you got five cameras all over the place, one out in a boat, one on top of a crane, one on the side, one to the pier, slow motion inside. And you're going, okay, ready, turn over, turn over, turn over, turn over, you know, everybody's ready, okay, hold it, we got a problem, just a problem, everybody turns over all the cameras again. And all of a sudden, the shaft of this thing shut through the car, the entire thing, into the air, nearly sunk the boat with the camera on it, and the car never moved. Terrific. And, you know, you sit there and, like, you're ready to cry, but you come up with ideas and you make it work. I mean, and uh, we did make it work, and I think it's going to be... Well, I don't want to brag, but I think we come all came brag, together. Come on, brag, brag, brag. I think it's the best episode we've done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you keen to make a feature movie out of Dempsey and Makepeace? Well, that's, uh, that's the possibility that we could do. I mean, you know, if there's enough people who want to see it after the third series, why not? We could make it a better story, a bigger, you know, bigger action. Uh, maybe even go to New York, who knows? Mm. But we could do that. If not that, another feature. Yeah. I saw a picture of you and Makepeace greeting each other in dark glasses in the paper uh, over the weekend. How did you recognize each other? <laughs> well, let's see. I had somebody point her out. You know. <laughs> you know, every, you know, I, I left because I wanted to get back here sooner, so I came back and then uh, she stayed on in Los Angeles for a bit and yeah. I picked her up in the airport. Good. It's good to see you. Continued see success you. with Make Peace and Dempsey. And, of course, for the Princess Trust with the photographs. Thanks a lot. Michael Brandon. <laughs>